Welcome to Mora FC. So I'm measuring, you can measure one quarter or one and a half for a Chinese snake. It's going to depend how big, how small that you want it. So you can measure one and a half or one quarter, or maybe some will go as far as two inches because they want it to be big. So you're going to measure that and you go that place and you measure whatever you measure. I'm using one quarter. Then you join it. Then you make a curve here like i said it's not a straight line it is not a straight line it's a curve you can see the curve is there i use my ruler but you can see the curve is there so after that you have to come in here at the top you can go in by half inch or quarter of an inch but i prefer you go in by one inch because the curve the more when the curve is very small it gives you a problem when sewing it somehow you can leave it straight you can go curve it's up to you how you want to design that part so i'll go in by one inch and i made my curve you can see i'm going in by one inch and i made a curve i'm going to use that one inch curve that i just did So after that, you measure and see if you have gotten the accurate measurement of your neck. So if your neck is 16, you're supposed to get 8 inches. If your neck is 20, you're supposed to get 10 inches over there. Then you cut. This stiff is hard one. I'm using the hard stiff. But still, you have to multiply the stiff. You know after cutting it you need to have to put it on another stiff a hard one then you just cut the new double it to make it so hard
so you can see this is a chinese net it's up to how you measure it's going to depend the measurement that you are doing the style that you are doing Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and comment, and click on notification bell. I post videos every Sundays and sometimes on Monday if you are able to post this on a Sunday. It is what it is. I'll trim some part off. I'll do top stitching on that place. I'll do top stitching, you know, on that place. So I'll flip it like this. Then I'm gonna, after the top stitching, then I'm gonna sew from this top. So after that, I'm gonna sew from this top right there to that joint. After the top stitch, this is the place that I'm gonna add the point at this angle to here. Exactly. So let me go and do that and come back. So you can see I've joined that part. So from this point, so I will cut it off. After I flip everything over, I'm going to trace some part of an 11 and a half inch. You can see perfect. It is what it is. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and comment, and click on notification bell. Because I post videos every Sunday, sometimes on Monday. You can see how the Chinese snake has been formed. It's 
time to sew it on the neck. Before starting, you have to start at one side first. You can see how I'm going to flip everything in. We are starting from the wrong side. You open it, then you sew on top. We are working on the wrong side of the center and tab. So after you sew like an, uh, 3 inches long or 4 inches long, then you stop. Or maybe 5 inches long, then you stop. Then you come to this side, then you continue. The reason why we do it this way, you know, is a hand cut. We use our hand to cut sometimes uh, the Chinese neck that we did can be one point or half inch shorter or 0 0.5 or 0 0.4 or 0 0.2 shorter than the neck itself. So when you do it this way, it helps you to maintain everything, it helps you to get the right neck for it to fix properly you don't need to go back and redo the neck again the chinese neck again so so after you do it this way it helps a lot you know so that's the best way the best way to do it you sew half inch you sew this part then you come to that part and you continue to with the rest you're gonna see that it's gonna fit perfectly at the neck Otherwise, if you start it from one side, the moment you're gonna get to the tip of where you're gonna end, you're gonna see that uh, you have like 0 0.5 or 0 0.3 longer than uh, the neck, or maybe short, some short or distance or whatever. So doing this way help you to fix all that kind of errors to get the perfect neck. So I'm gonna flip everything in like this to the right side, and I'm gonna top stitch that part it's more fc it is what it is please do well and subscribe like and share and comment ask question if there's something you don't understand you just have to leave in the comment below i'll give you an answer i'll explain certain things to you as well I'm making sure everything is fixed in properly and nice. Then you top stitch. If you have not done yet, you have to top stitch at the top as well. It's not all, all the Chinese neck that you have to top stitch, you know. Some have a suit Chinese neck, so for the suit one. This, uh, this you have you don't have to sew at the top you know and that one you don't have to even sew at this part you just have to use your hand to you know join it that one too will come I will give you a tutorial on that one too for you to know the difference so I'm just top stitching everything around it all it's more IFC don't forget to subscribe like and share and comment and click on notification bell it is what it is I have several videos how to make your how to sew invisible zip without a zipper foot how to cut sinet and tap I have different style of sinet and tap so you just have to watch it and learn how to you know do different kinds of sinet and style you know I have a lot of videos so do it and check it out my other video in the description box below so we are done so if yours is you have to put the bottoms on it and you just have to create your bottom hole or maybe pre to put the pressing button inward then we're done thank you for watching it is what it is